Hey, thanks. Um, you know, it's a great pleasure for me to be here on the carpet with two of the producers from The King's Speech, Ian Gareth. Firstly, congratulations. You're here for Best Foreign Film, which is a kind of cool title for this English language film. Yeah, no, it's pretty, it's pretty exciting to be in the, in the foreign category. It's, um, it's not often you get called out as a Brit, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> now, the film's gone on to make it's about $240 million as we speak, which is absolutely phenomenal for an indie film. Is that due to the marketing, word of mouth? What is it that enables this film to rise above the pack? Great story. I think that... Um, at its very core, it's it's the story of this guy who who wants to be a better version of himself, and he's helped through a friendship to to become that better version of himself. And I, and I think that that is connecting with everyone all around the world. But certainly, we it was an independent mentality making the film. We did we didn't have enough money. I don't think anyone ever has enough money. But we 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 were no, you know, we're relatively small in terms of in terms of a period film standard and um, I think that spirit all the went through and I think people are, are on an audience level are connecting with the story. Well one of the things I think is really interesting about uh, the support for the King's Speech has come out of the stuttering community. I mean I've, I've seen so many announcements about how thrilled they are that this film has brought this issue into the light. I mean has, was, was that something that you guys were counting on? Well, not necessarily counting on, but obviously it's at the, the centre of the movie. I mean, the, the support that the Stammering and Stuttering Societies have shown the film are, are great. But I think it's also struck a chord with anyone that's um, faced any type of difficulty in their lives, you know, and that's why it seems to be resonating with a younger audience. You know, they, they understand bullying, peer pressure, social responsibility, you know. So I think it's great to see such a wide range of people supporting the film, but we, we feel that we've done good service to those particular two associations. And the letters that we've received have been... Uh, have been some of the hardest things that I've read and, and some of the most amazing praise for the film I've read. So it's, uh, no, we we feel that's been a fantastic aspect of the story. It's great. Well, thanks so much for spending a little time with us and congratulations on the film's success. We're going to cross now to Frangelo and Maggie down the carpet.